And we're obviously live in Westminster this morning because of that vote last night. Parliament finally agreeing on an election. It's a winter election, a Christmas election, the 12th of December. I'll have a quick look at the front pages. This is how um, The Guardian's written it, written it up. Parliament breaks deadlock with the December the 12th election. And we'll go through what happened last night because it was and sometimes confusing in the um, House of Parliament and the House of Commons. Uh, so Johnson wins vote to secure a snap poll at the fourth time, of course, of asking. And Corbyn, this way they've written, at least in The Guardian, taking a gamble to back the bill. Over 100 Labour MPs abstain in that vote. Show the front page of a couple of others. This is The Sun. They've gone for New Year's leave. Uh, January the 1st, 2020, the first day of the rest of our lives, they say. If Boris wins December the 12th election, we can get Brexit done. Uh, uh, this is a, oh, sorry, I'm just going to add the Times behind as well. December the 12th poll will get Brexit done, says Boris Johnson. They've got the Prime Minister on the front page of their paper this morning. Uh, this is a big thumbs up. Look, you can see as he returns to Downing Street yesterday, that's from page of the front page of the Daily Express and the paper's really kind of laying their political um, allegiances on the line there. Um, Daily Mirror, that's how they've written it up. Um, 12th of December. What else have we got? I have got for you the Daily One Telegraph more. as well. The Daily Telegraph. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we need, we need more space. The Daily Telegraph have got a Christmas election on the front cover there with Jeremy Corbyn and a selection of uh, Labour MPs behind him. Uh, there's John McDonnell. We'll be speaking to John McDonnell at uh, ten past eight this morning. Corbyn finally bows to Johnson's demands for a vote to clear the Brexit impasse that has crippled politics. That's what the Daily Telegraph are saying this morning. It's worth pointing out, isn't it, that 104 Labour MPs uh, abstained. Um, they didn't want to vote for general election at the fourth time of asking. So I think there's, there's, there's all sorts of issues to investigate and to discuss Absolutely. today with all the various parties. Um, can I, we mentioned, I mentioned the mirror and they're all sort of using Christmas, aren't they, in their analogies. This is front page of the Daily Mail as well. Um, at last, Boris wins election date and he's leading the polls. Um, but they do go on and we'll talk about this with the Lib Dems a little bit later. With Lib Dems and the Brexit party threatening Tory votes in key seats, there's a stark warning according to their interpretation of events yesterday. Uh, but also chilly morning for you both. Morning to you. It's all right, you know, Ben. It's OK. It's all fine, isn't it? I'm just reading some facts, and we'll talk about this a little bit later, about um, winter polling, actually, because we were talking about whether or not people would go out. Mm. The experts say there's no evidence from the UK to suggest that bad weather stops people from voting. So there we go. There you go. That, that's, More on that later. That's, that's your excuse gone. <laughs> uh, this will be the first general election to be held in December, though, since 1923. So, whichever way you look at it, there's a little bit of history around this today, yeah. isn't it? What do voters think about spending the festive period at the ballot box? John Kay has been to Bridgewater in Somerset to find out. The first signs of Christmas in Bridgewater. So we thought we'd hand out some cards. This is for you for Christmas. Thank you. Delivering news of what will be a very unusual festive season. Happy Christmas. You can open it now. I hope you're happy with what I'm giving you for Christmas. Well, I've got three children, so I'm going to be busy shopping and preparing for Christmas. You've got a couple of minutes, though, to put an X in a, on a ballot paper at the voting station, haven't you? No. No? No. I hope you like it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Why not? Um, I don't think that we need to have one, in all honesty, um, right now. I think that Brexit needs to be dealt with before a general election. It's supposed to be a time of joy and happiness and um, goodwill to all men and women, and I just don't think that's going to apply. You're giving it back to me. I'm giving it back to you. It's for you now. <laughs> Thanks <You're> so welcome. <laughs> much. You're welcome. Does it ruin Christmas? Not to me, no. To me, it's taking our affairs in our hands, which is what we should be doing anyway. At the end of the day, this is our country. We need to look after it. If we don't look after it, who is going to look after it? Nobody. Ian is less than thrilled. Why? OK. Is it just what you've always wanted? Uh, not particularly, no. <laughs> He wanted Brexit on Halloween, not a festive ding-dong from the Prime Minister. Why? You know, he said we'd be eight by Thursday. What a false promise. From the BBC, I've got a present for you. Pamela reckons this is the gift we all need right now, to sort things out. But she does worry about voting in the snow. If it's icy, it'd be a bit risky for me, won't it, really? What, to go to the polling station? Yes. But like I said, if I can make it, I'll be there. Hopefully we're not going to get in the snow. Are you dreaming of a white general election? Oh, I don't know about the white general. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, I know that. 
So, uh, what would be the assessment of that? Kind of mixed emotions, isn't it? I miss Brenda from Bristol. I know, I and she was trending. Or was she yeah. trending yesterday? Yes, she was, she was yes. What, what, what was it? What Not other another one. one. Uh, the prospect of a Christmas election has got many into the festive spirit already. Um, on Twitter, the hashtag Christmas Constituency Songs has been trending. Yes. You uh, love this, Apologies for some of these. Uh, Stuart says, what about the fairy tale of Newark? Do you like that one? <laughs> Miriam came up with... Hove yourself a merry little Christmas. And also Rudolph the Red Car Reindeer. Uh, you can have Walking in Witness Wonderland. Yep, that's from uh, Stuart. My, my favourite one, actually, I did read this one. This is from uh, Matthew, says, All I want for Christmas is crew, brackets and Nantwich. <laughs> <laughs> I do send us in those thoughts. Of course, we are looking at the, the serious issues about how yeah. um, all parties are going to be, what they're going to be selling you, basically, in the next few weeks or did, so. Did you see um, Chris Mason sort of went through the last few years in politics? Uh, so 2014, Scottish independence referendum. 2015, we had a general election. 2016, the EU referendum and a new prime minister. Another general election in 2017. Uh, Brexit negotiations in 2018. And now 2019, two missed Brexit deadlines, a new Prime Minister and now another general election. 12th of December, put the date in your diary.